find the coefficient of x power 7 in the expansion 1 minus x minus x square plus x to the power of 3 whole to the power of 6. Let's simplify this first. 1 minus x minus x square times of 1 minus x whole to the power 6. We can write take 1 minus x common. So 1 minus x square whole power 6. So we can write 1 minus x whole power 6 into 1 minus x square whole power 6. And we know the general term in 1 minus x whole power n tr plus 1 is equal to ncr minus 1 to the power r into x to the power r. So here we can write the general terms for the first one 6cr minus 1 to the power r into x to the power r and again the second case we can write 6c capital R minus 1 to the power of capital R and x square to the power of capital R. So here you will get whenever r is odd you will get negative and whenever r is even you will get positive and the same case here also. So we can find now and here x to the power of r is here and x to the power of 2r. So to get the coefficient of x to the power of 7, x to the power of r into x to the power of 2r must give x to the power of 7. That is x to the power of r plus 2r is equal to x to the power 7. So we can write r plus 2 capital R is equal to 7. Since 2r is an even number, so smaller must be odd number because to get an odd number here 7. So let us choose r is equal to 1. When r is equal to 1, so definitely r must capital R must be 3. So when r is equal to 1, capital R must be 3. So the term can be taken as 6c3 or 6c1 first one minus since r is odd number you will get negative and x to the power 1. And next when r is equal to 3, we will be getting 6c3 and again since it is an odd, so minus x to the power of 3 to the 6. So that we will be getting x power 1 into x to the power of 6, you will get x to the power of 7. So con coefficients can be taken as minus 6c1 into minus 6c3. And the next one when r is equal to when r is equal to 3, capital R can be taken as 3 plus 4. So capital R is equal to 2. So we can write minus 6c3 x to the power of 3 into since r is equal to 2 is an even number. So we will get 6c2 x to the power of 2 to the 4. So that again x to the power of 3 into x to the power of 4 we will get x to the power 7. So here the coefficient can be taken minus 6c3 into 6c2. And the next one when r is equal to odd number 5 capital R is equal to 5 plus 2. So R is capital R should be equal to 1. So in this case, since R is 5 odd number, so minus 6 C 5 x to the power of 5 into and capital R is equal to 1 is again odd number. So minus 6 C 1 x to the power 2. So that we will be getting x power 5 and x power 2 is x power 7. So we can say now coefficient of x to the power of 7 in the given expansion we can write minus into minus that is plus 6c1 into 6c3 minus 6c2 into 6c3 again minus into minus plus 6c5 into 6c1 so we let us find 6c1 value is equal to 6 and 6c2 value that is 6 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 2 factorial that is 6 into 5 into 4 factorial upon 4 factorial into 2. So we can say this is 15. So 6 C2 value is 15. And again 6 C3 value 6 factorial upon 6 minus 3 is 3 factorial into 3 factorial. So let me write here NCR is equal to n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial. 
so here we can write 6 factorial into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 3 into 2 into 1 so we can get 3 twos are 6 5 fours are 20 so 63 value is 20 and again we required 65 65 value can be taken as 6 c1 which is equal to 6 because ncr is equal to ncs when either r is equal to s or r plus s is equal to n so that our calculation 6 c1 into 6 c3 minus 6 c3 into 6 c2 plus 6 c5 into 6 c1 you can add 6 into 20 minus 20 into 15 plus 6 into 61 value is 6 again so 26 of 120 minus 300 plus 36 so 120 plus 36 156 minus 300 is minus 144 so minus 144 which is option b is the answer